Welcome back guys. In my last video I showed off a game on side quest called Battle Talent, which is more or less your blade and sorcery of standalone Oculus. Now today I want to show you how to actually add mods to that game. So it's pretty simple. Uh, two things you are going to need is a PC. It doesn't have to be a great one, but just something that you can use side quest on and connect your Oculus to. And the other thing you're going to need is the most updated version of Battle Talent, which you can also find on SideQuest. So, to get started, you're of course going to want to get your mods. To find them, you're going to go to battletalent.mod.io. I'll leave a link in the description for you. And when you pull up the first page, this is what you're going to see. Just a whole list of mods. Now, you can sort through them over here in the side to kind of make them easier to choose from. Look for specific things. Let's go ahead and look in retractable here. Okay, let's go ahead and add the dark saber. So you're going to make sure that you get the most updated file. And we'll grab one other thing here. Choose something animated. This looks cool. Let's get this monster sword. Or better yet, this looks like more fun. Go with a lightsaber theme here. Now this is where side quest comes in. You're going to make sure that your Oculus Quest 2 is connected and showing connected up here. And we are going to go to Manage Files on the headset. You're going to go down to Android, Data, and for a ba for Battle Talent, you're going to want to find this one here, com.crosslink.sao. Go ahead and click into that and go under Files, and you are going to want to add a folder. I'm not going to do this in the video because I've already got one here, but you are going to name it mods. This is case sensitive, so make sure that you do it lowercase. The website will tell you to do it uppercase, but I have found that when I tried that, it did not work. But once you have that file there, we can go ahead and grab our mods, which we can probably find in downloads. So, I'm just going to go ahead and move these to the PC, or PC, desktop. And you're going to right click and hit extract all. Go ahead and extract. Take this and pull it to your desktop. Do the same with this. Now you don't actually have to hit extract all, honestly, you can double click it and boom. If you're using Windows 10 anyway. So now we've got our mods extracted. We're going to go ahead and open up SideQuest and make sure that we are in our mods folder. And all you're going to have to do is highlight them and drag them on in. You can see I've already got a few installed here. But that's it as far as the computer part side goes. Let's go ahead and jump onto the quest and I'll show you where to go from here, where to find your mods and test them out. All right guys, so now that we got our mods going, we wanna make sure they work. So before you get into the game, you are going to wanna make sure that you reset your Oculus Quest. Just turn it off and back on. And then once you pull up the game, you are going to head over to the store and you should see your mods pop up in here so it looks like we got this go ahead and unlock it and the dark saber go ahead and unlock that now that we got them unlocked we're of course going to want to test them so let's head into the sandbox and see how they work all right dark saber Inquisitor's lightsaber. 
They look good. Just pick something random there. Oh, that looks very nice. That might be the best looking lightsaber I've seen yet. Oh. Oh, no way. Okay, let's put these things to work. Look at that. Okay, not bad. So far, it looks good. Running very well too. Oh, I love that. Immediate damage. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Just like a true Jedi. I should say Sid. Also, that does not seem safe. So distracting. Okay, I guess that's pretty much it. You got your mods on there. They're working pretty good. Uh, a couple troubleshooting steps. If your mods are not showing up, make sure that you have actually added the mod file and not the zipped file itself. Um, otherwise, Make sure that the mods folder is in all lowercase letters. And make sure that the game is updated to the latest version. At the time of this recording, the version is 0.0.7. That's it guys, have fun!